Welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll discuss about Galois field. In our last class, we clearly discussed about what is meant by field. And uh, please watch those classes and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So here, in our last class, we discussed what is meant by finite field. If the set contains finite number of elements, then we call it as finite field. So Galois field is going to use finite field concept means uh, here the set of elements are finite. It is not going to use infinite elements. And it is given by GF of P here P means uh, Galois field contains only P means prime numbers. So GF of P means uh, so for suppose GF of P means that set contains elements at uh, 0, 1, 2, 3 up to P minus 1. The sum of the numbers that will starts from 0 to p minus 1 that set contains gallows field set contains up to p minus 1 elements so on this gallows field operation suppose if you take example gf of 2 2 is a prime number similarly next example gf of 5 5 is a prime number yes you can take gf of 2 on this field uh, in, in the field we have to satisfy two binary operations the binary operations which we consider here is a plus and multiplication plus modulo p multiplication modulo p here we did not mention modulus operation but actually here plus means plus modulo p p means here 2 p means gf of 5 p means 5 plus modulo 5 multiplication modulo 5 it is satisfying these two operations this is what we call it as a gallows field and this concept which we are going to use in our cryptography when we discuss about AES advanced encryption standard there we are using this concept you have to understand it properly see see these basic things which we already covered in our uh, discrete mathematics if you have that intuition this is very very easy to understand and we are in an assumption that you already have that basic knowledge based on that explanation is provided little bit faster so here let's try to understand it here field means it has to satisfy all the five properties what's those properties closure property associative committed to identity element and inverse so let's check whether it is satisfying the closure property 0 plus 0 which is 0 0 modulus 2 which is 0 you, you get the element that present in the set that is what closure property means 0 plus 1 1 1 modulus 2 is 1 you got the element that belongs to set 1 plus 0 is 1 1 modulus 2 is 1 you got the element 1 plus 1 2 2 modulus 2 is 0 so it is satisfying the closure property so plus is plus is going to satisfy associative property and commutative property so what's the identity element for plus 0 is the identity element so any number 1 plus 0 you are going to 1 so 0 is the identity element for plus operation so that's why here 0 is the identity element now let's try to understand the inverse element exists for all the elements for 0 what is the inverse element 0 0 plus 0 which is 0 0 modulus 2 0 you got the identity element so what's the identity element for 1? 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2. 2 modulus 2 which is 0. So that's why you got the identity element. Inverse of 1 is 1. Inverse of 0 is 0. Similarly, this set has to satisfy the multiplication property also. Multiplication modulo. 0 modulus 0 which is 0. 0 multiplied by 0 which is 0. Modulus 2 which is equal to 0. 1 multiplied by 0. 0 modulus 2 which is 0 1 multiplied by 1 1 1 modulus 2 which is 1 so it is satisfying closure property multiplication multiplication satisfy associativity multiplication satisfy commutative what is the identity element in multiplication 1 is the identity element any number multiplied by 1 you are going to get the same number and here we need to identify inverse element for 0. 0 inverse not exists. That's why no inverse exists for 0. But 1, 1 multiplied by 1, which is 1. So you are getting the 1 modulus 2 is 1, which is you are getting the identity element. So this addition modulo 2 
P, addition modulo P and multiplication modulo P both are satisfying the group properties. That's why this we call it as a field. And this GF of two field, we are going to use it in our cryptography, which we are going to discuss in our next classes. And one more important point you need to understand, not only addition minus also satisfying here, 0 minus 0, which is 0, 0 modulus 2 is 0. 0 minus 1, which is minus 1, minus 1 modulus 2 is 1, 1 minus 0, 1, 1 modulus 2 is 1, 1 minus 1, which is 0, 0 modulus 2 is 0. So addition, multi, addition and subtraction, you are getting the same answers. And one more important point you need to understand here, see here. Actually, you have to do the modulus operation, but there is a shortcut here. See, 0 plus 0, what's the output you got? 0. XOR operation, 0 excludes your 0, you are going to get 0. 0 plus 1, 0, 1, XOR operation, you are going to get 1. 1, 0, XOR operation, you are going to get 1. 1, 1, XOR operation, you are going to get 0. So, shortcut is for addition, exclusive OR operation, it is satisfying. GF of 2 satisfying XOR operation. Similarly, minus also getting the same outputs. For minus also, we are using XOR operation. In GF of 2, addition minus shortcut is XOR operation. Similarly, for multiplication, 0, 0, you got the output 0. And operation, 0 and 0, 0. 1, 0, 1 and 0, you got the output 0. So, 1 and. 1 and 1, you got the output 1. So here for multiplication, what's the shortcut? And operation. Anyhow, you can do modulus operation. This is the actual procedure. But for shortcut GF of 2, plus and minus is satisfying the XOR operation. Multiplication satisfying the and operation. See, this XOR operation and and operation we use in cryptography. That's why we are mentioning it here. Let's try to understand GF of P fields, one more example, GF of 5. So what's the elements that present in GF of 5? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. These are the elements and on, on the operation plus and multiplication. We will explain only for one, you do the remaining addition, 0 plus 0, 0, modulus 5, 0. 0 plus 1, 1, modulus 5, which is 1. Similarly, 1 plus 1, 2, 2 modulus 5, 2. 1 plus 2, 3 modulus 5, 3. 1 plus 3, 4 modulus 5, which is 4. 1 plus 4, 5 modulus 5, which is 0. So you are getting the values that present in the set. You do any closure operation. You do the addition. You are getting the same elements that present in the set. It is satisfying the closure property. Addition, the identity element is 0. And inverse elements, A, A inverse is, for 0, inverse is 0. For 1, inverse is 4, because 1 plus 4 modulus 5, 0. You are getting identity. For 2, 3 is the identity element, inverse element. 2 plus 3, 5. For 3, 2 is the identity inverse element. For 4, 1 is the ident inverse element. Similarly, plus operation is satisfying and multiplication operation. This is the closure operation which we need to do on 0 multiplied by anything 0 modulus 5. So, 1 multiplied by 2, 2, 2 modulus 5 which is 2. So, what's the identity element here? 1 is the identity element. What are the inverse elements? For 0, you don't have inverse element. For 1, 1, 1 multiplied by 1, 1. For 2, 3 is the inverse element. 3, 2, 6, 6 modulus 5, 1. For 3, 2 is the inverse element. For 4, 4 is the inverse element. For 4, 16, 16 modulus 5, 1. So, inverse element exists for all the elements. It is satisfying the group field properties. Anyhow, we are going to use in our cryptography GF of 2. For better understanding, we have to take one more example. Hope you understand what's Gallio's field of P operation. If you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. 
and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you